Oh, hey, I'm packing because I'm going on a bike ride today. So I'm going to be away from my house for a couple hours. I want to make sure I have enough things with me to make sure that I don't need anything when I'm out and away from the house. Who knew that you needed so much stuff just for a bike ride? Today, we're going to be talking about how to pack for a day trip and the kinds of things that you want to make sure to remember to bring with you. Well, I think I'm packed for my bike trip. I've got my helmet, I've got my water bottle, and I've got my sunscreen with me too. But just because this is the right stuff I needed to pack for my bike trip today, doesn't mean it's the perfect packing list for every day trip. When you're packing for your own trip, you wanna think about the weather, including the temperature, the activities that you're doing, and the place where you'll be going. So if you're going on a hiking trip in the fall, instead of a bike ride in the summer, you probably don't need to bring a helmet but you might want to think about bringing an extra layer, like a coat. So remember, think about the weather, the activity, and the place. Now some of my friends are going to show you how they pack for their own day trips. Hi everyone, Amanda here. I have been part of West River's program staff the past two summers and have been a camper well before then. And today I'm going kayaking and I just wanted to show you what I normally bring along on my kayaking trips. So I've got my backpack right here and let me show you what's inside. So first, got my trusty hat, helps keep the sun out of my eyes. And along with that, sunscreen to stay protected so you don't get that sunburn, water, sun, dangerous game. Make sure you bring sunscreen. Um, next, I always bring an extra set of clothes just in case I get wet or anything like that. And also a towel to sit on in case water just gets into the kayak. Um, I also have duct tape, which is very helpful just in case you need a quick fix on anything like that. Duct tape can do a lot of things. All right, next, got my nice West River sunglasses to keep that sun out of my eyes, always reflecting off the water. Um, first aid kit, just in case I need any band-aids or gauze or anything like that for just quick little injuries. Um, my favorite part is the snacks, you know, getting hungry out there all day, got to fuel up with peanut butter, nuts, raisins, granola bars, got all of them. Um, waterproof bag just to keep my phone in in case my phone gets wet or falls in the water. I know it's safe in that bag. Have my multi-tool which is a tool of many things just in case anything breaks down or I need to fix anything. This tool can do a lot. And I have my whistle just in case like I'm out there and my phone isn't working and I need help or anything. This whistle can be heard from very far away so it's important to have just as a backup. And last but not least, very important, got lots of water just to drink throughout the whole day. Staying hydrated is super important, especially when you're out in the sun. And that is all. If you ever go kayaking, these are some great things to bring. And I hope you have fun. Bye. Hey guys, Cheyenne here from Manitoukin. I was cabin counselor and resource staff last year. Such a beautiful day out today. Great day for a hike. You guys wanna go with me? Awesome. So what would I take with me while going on a hike? Well, the first thing, I wanna make sure that I have the proper shoes. Right here. I'm gonna make sure my toes are covered and the shoe is not easily gonna slide off my foot because when you're hiking, you're gonna be moving a lot. You don't want your shoes coming off. Whew. Also, you take with you some water, right? That's what's connected at the other end of this hose in my backpack. Right in here. I like to take with me too, a hat. I like having my head covered, especially on a bright day like today, being a redhead and all. I also take with me a first aid kit. And here I have a couple of band-aids, some hand sanitizer, and some gauze. Also, although it doesn't look like it today, I take with me a raincoat, just in case it decides to rain. And here too, I have my sunscreen. Always gotta protect myself in the sun. 
sticks and bug spray. I have a flashlight. And I always take a snack just in case I get a little hungry while I'm hiking. I also brought my sunglasses just in case it gets a little too bright for me. With safety, just in case I get lost or I have an accident or something, I take with me an identification card, which is in this pouch here, so people know who I am if they need to. I also took with me my Bluetooth speaker in case I want to listen to some music while I'm hiking. But I always keep in mind, there might be some other people on the trail and sometimes they don't like to listen to music. So, you ready to go for a hike? Sometimes when we're trying a new thing, we don't know exactly what to pack. Maybe you bring two water bottles with you, but you only end up using one. Or maybe you bring a first aid kit and don't end up using it all, which is probably a good thing. But having the right stuff with us, that useful stuff, as we go to try these new things, helps us approach it with confidence. In Isaiah 43, 19, God says, I am about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. That sounds like a pretty unexpected new thing. Just like there's some unexpected new things happening this summer and in our lives. But the good news is, God is with us during these new things. What kind of spiritual packing can we do to make sure that we approach these new things with confidence? I like to memorize some of my favorite Bible verses and remember to say a prayer before each meal. That's not something I can physically hold, but they are things that I can bring with me as I go out into the new things that God is causing. My challenge for you this week is this. Go and pack for something new. If it's safe and possible for you and your family to plan a hiking trip, pack for it and go do it, that's really cool. But if not, that's okay too. Maybe you can pack for a future trip just to practice and then hike around your house and your yard. Or make a packing list. Make a packing list of the spiritual things that you bring with you whenever you go try something new just in this world. And don't forget, one thing that we never need to pack is God's love because it already comes with us wherever we go. See you next week. I almost forgot. If you try any of the challenges from this video series, we would love to see them. So send us a photo or a video to the email on the screen. We can't wait to see what you come up with.